you look at this picture of a plant, it looks very different from the first diagram we looked at. What are the differences you can spot? You can pause the video while you write some down. The plant is called a wind pollinated flower and it uses wind to pollinate. And the first flower we looked at is called an insect pollinated flower because it uses insects to pollinate. Because of how these plants are pollinated, they have different features. Looking firstly at the insect pollinated flowers, they have the following features. They have large colorful petals to attract insects. They have a scent and nectar to attract insects to the plant. They have sticky, spiky pollen grains to attach to insects. The anthers are located inside the flower, so the insects have to brush past them. They have a sticky stigma to collect pollen grains, and it is located on the inside of the flower, so insects have to brush past it. If we compare this to a wind pollinated flower, these, however, rather than having a large petal, they have small, dull petals, they have no smell or nectar, more pollen grains are produced than insect pollinated flowers, their pollen is smooth and small and light so it can be easily carried in the wind. Anthers are found on the outside of the flower so the pollen can easily be lost. Stigma is feathery and found on the outside of the leaf to catch pollen. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.